What's up guys, it's Wilma Kaysen. Welcome back to my channel. Do you know what today is? Today is my 36th birthday, guys. Oh my gosh. September 19th is my birthday, and I can't believe I'm 36. I can't believe I'm sharing that with you guys. Yes, I'm 36 years old. Um, but I don't feel 36, so that's what it's all about. It's about how you feel. Age is nothing but a number. I wanted to share with you guys today the anti-lux tag, which I was tagged in by Deborah from Draylux TV. That's my girl. What's up, love? And um, I am so excited for this video. It took me a couple of weeks because I literally grabbed like everything that was like anti-lux in my life, and then I was like, no. Go for the things that you reach for the most that are anti-lux, and you guys are actually gonna be surprised. So I'm excited to share this different side of Will with you. So let's get started. The very first thing I'm gonna talk about is outerwear. I am in love with quilted jackets, guys. So this jacket here is from Ralph Lauren, and my favorite part of it is how it does this like asymmetrical thing. It kind of goes down in the back. Um, I absolutely love it. I have a number of other quilted uh, vests and jackets, but this is the anti lux one. So I wanted to share with you guys my Ralph Lauren. This is like one of my go to's. I love the green color. It's got the corduroy there, which I think is just so adorable. And it also has the corduroy here on the collar. And it's just it's one of my go-to's. I absolutely love it. In the fall or like early spring, this is what you will typically find me in. Next in outerwear is Old Faithful. And I, when I say that I wear this all of the time, like I wear it all of the time. This is my Gap denim vintage jacket. I don't even know the year that I got this thing. I wear it so much. It's got the little AIDS ribbon on it from my father who passed away from AIDS back in 1993. Um, so yeah, I wear that, I keep it on there, that's a staple. Even when I wash it, it stays on there. Um, so this is just a piece that usually my family and friends are like, can you put the denim jacket away? Like, it's enough. Um, but I just, it's comfortable, it's worn, it's like, tattered like here I just love this thing and my family and friends if you watch this you know how much use I get out of this thing um, I've had it at least 50 I want to say 20 years it's just a staple it's not going anywhere and I absolutely love it this is a I don't know if it's picking this up this is another piece from the gap this is like a cable knit really really warm sweater that my mother picked me up for Christmas I think it was three Christmases ago and the last three winters she's like can you stop wearing it but it's just the most comfortable thing you wrap it around you like when you're home or when you're running out like just running out of the house this thing is so unbelievably comfortable and then for some reason like my mom just on a whim she knows I love cable knit and I have like every Ralph Lauren cable knit sweater known to mankind. So she's like, I just went and picked you up something simple and it really has been like the best gift ever. I absolutely love this. And if you can get your hands on one, highly, highly recommend it. The next thing that I wanna talk about is this cologne, guys. And this is called Rojas Rochas. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's called Rojas Man. I have been wearing this probably since almost 20 years um, we, my friend came across it in the Bahamas on a vacation we were like teenagers and she came back and was like oh my gosh and I seriously it stays in my rotation constantly and this is one of those fragrance fragrances that people stop you and they're like what are you wearing you know there's sometimes people are like oh you smell nice but then there's fragrances when they're like what the hell is that and this is one of those fragrances I get stopped all the time and it used to be more expensive but I got two of them couple weeks ago for $70 and it still is the formula is the same it's just as effective it's not long-lasting so I feel like I have to reapply sometimes but it is very very powerful when you first spray it you don't need a lot and, and people are definitely going to stop you so ladies get this for your man it's inexpensive fellas out there I promise you you will not be disappointed Rojas man next I've picked up these shoes these little espadrilles from Call It Spring before my Bahamas trip. And when I tell you guys, 
I wasn't really, I didn't know what Call It Spring was. It was last minute. I was running around trying to find things to wear and I ran into the, that store and I was like, oh my gosh, these are like $24. Love these. I have like a moss green color. I wore those to death. The blue was kind of hard to wear out, but I've been wear getting a lot of wear of them since I wore out the green pair or the khaki color, whatever you want to call it. But these have been amazing. I mean, I wear them as much as I can when I'm running to the grocery store, when I'm running to the bank, post office. Recommend these. You're not, they're not for 24 bucks. You're not going to wear them until Kingdom Come. But they are just really, really comfortable. I don't even know what else to say about them. These are phenomenal. When it comes to fall and winter, I love these Kohan boots. I am just absolutely obsessed with them. I think I got both of them from Marshalls for like dirt cheap, maybe 40 bucks. I mean, look at those guys. These, if you can't tell, I wear these the most. It's kind of hard to wear the gray. And the gray zip up where the black do not. So these I can kind of tuck behind a pair of jeans and these kind of wear fit awkward they're virtually the same boot but this one fits a little different however i wear these all of the time i'm going to insert some pictures in the winter i wear these like they're slippers even though they actually hurt my foot right here like the bridge i guess you call that i still wear these non-stop they are ridiculously comfortable and uh, for the most part aside from that um they're comfortable they're durable i've had them for years have not had to take them to the cobbler for any kind of repair i probably do need to get them cleaned but i love these i plan on having them for a very very long time as as much as people think that i am this i love i do love fashion and I have tons of clothes and jackets and blazers and button-up shirts and all these fancy things. But the reality is, guys, I think it's when I put on this extra weight, I become such a sporty kind of guy. So when I'm not going anywhere special, these are all of my, like, gym shorts. I'm typically in a pair of gym shorts or I kind of fell in love with tights. These are all Nike dry fit tights. And I usually, like in the fall, winter, I'll wear these underneath a pair of gym shorts with some sneakers. And they're just super, super comfortable. My favorite pair, I love these. They're, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of like a checkered print. Those are really nice. Um, I also am in love with these. These have a matching top. Another one of my favorites is this pair here that I wore a lot last year um, when I was like heavily into working out. So like I said, workout clothes are just super comfortable for me. I have all my tops hanging up. The bottoms, the shorts, and the, and the leggings or tights, whatever you call them, I pretty much usually have them tucked in the drawer. Um, and there's a lot that I haven't worn because I just kind of went cold turkey and stopped going to the gym Hence, I put on some weight and I kind of can't fit them. So my goal is to get back into those clothes. Because like when I work out, I want to look cute. I want to feel cute. So I'm sure you've seen on my channel, I probably have worn this 10,000 times. This is my go-to Nike dry fit. All of my workout clothes are Nike dry fit, by the way. Um, but this is my go-to top. I've got four of these. And I love that it has the little cutout there for your thumb. And it's just so comfortable. I wear it all year round. I don't care if it's summertime. But this is the top that I usually wear. And these are the sneakers that I wear with it. These are called Nike Free. And they're just the black sneaks. And they're really, really, really comfortable. I have them also in the gray and like that neon yellow color, which matches a lot of my workout clothes wardrobe. Typically, if I'm not at work and I'm not going out, I am in some kind of Nike dry fit. You have seen me with the baseball caps 10,000 times in my videos as well. So yeah, that is that. Moving right along, it's football season. I am a huge Giants fan. My family were huge Giants fans. So I have all of these jerseys. Obviously, Odell Beckham, Victor Cruz, Hakeem Nix, which I never wore. I wear the other two religiously. These, ironically, again, I put on some weight. All of these here 
are children's extra large. I used to be able to wear the extra large and like some really nice slim jeans and like it didn't look too tight I promise you. Um, I was able to pull it off with some nice jeans and make it look trendy but now that I have a little bit of a belly I can't pull these off so two Christmases ago my stepfather picked up this custom Giants jersey for me which I absolutely love. It's like uh, men's large and it's ginormous on me it is huge but it's comfortable every Sunday football Sundays I'm either with my family or at home watching a game and you will catch me lounging in this it is so comfortable and like I said I just absolutely love it I got it for Christmas I think two years ago from my stepdad okay guys so the last part of this video this is a bag I wanted to share with you guys so many times and just didn't know how to implement it. So when this tag came out, I'm like, I am so sharing my Marc Jacobs carpet bag. Look at that leather, guys. It is gorgeous. Look at that. It's a duffel bag. Whew. This thing is heavy. Let me tell you, I got this in 2012 from an ex we were shopping in the West Vi East Village West Village and we came across the Marc Jacobs store and I was like oh my god that's gorgeous and there's just not many of them apparently the story is Marc Jacobs went to Morocco and these carpet bags are huge in Morocco I'm still trying to get my hands on a couple more um, but he went to Morocco snagged a, like a couple hundred of these bags popped a Marc Jacobs tag on it and started selling them. So there's really, there were no two of a kind. I think this was a hundred and some some change um, when, it, when we got it from the Marc Jacobs store. But you can also find the Moroccan carpet bags, I think they're called. If you just Google search it, it's kind of hard to find, but they're just beautiful bags. So yeah, it's just one of those things that I'm just like, it's so beautiful. It's like a piece of art. So I'm rambling at this point. I think I'm done sharing with you guys all of my go-tos, like everything I reach for in like different seasons. Um, and this last piece was travel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Deborah, for tagging me. And I'm gonna tag Autumn Beckman again. And I'm also gonna tag Doc Luxury. The luxury is in his name. Like he's got nothing but luxury. So I wanna see what he has that's not luxury. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!